Hi, I'm Doreen Valine, and I'm back to help you and to, well, I just want to share with you, like, I'm an experimenter. So what happened last time in last video, I created this painting and I knew it needed something. Um, I tried putting white blotches on. I, what it was is the too much green bothered me. So I thought, okay, let's try to do something with that green. So it's this is my focal point right here. So this is what I want people to zero in on and keep their focus on when I, they see my picture. So I'll tell you what I did. I, I took some um, avocado, uh, dry avocados. You, you take the, first of all, you take your avocados and you dry them. I think we talked about this already. And then I went and painted them and they turned out beautifully. Look at the colors on them. They're just gorgeous. Really, 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 really pretty. I really like them. So I thought, okay, first of all, I thought I'll do white. So I tried white. So I tried white like this. I didn't like it. Why is because there's too much white background. You can't do white leaf also. It's just dead. It's dead looking. So I took those away. <laughs> then I painted them. So then I got these ones here. And I thought, okay, I, I don't really like these white spots. So I thought, well, I'll cover those up. I'll show you what I did. I did some leaves like that. Always five. You always have to do an uneven number, remember? Never do an, e an equal number. You have to do three or five or one. There's one on the side. I like that one. So one, two, three, four, five. So I did that. I was going to do something in there. Okay, that was my second option. It's okay. I like the brown. I like the warmth. Uh, the warmth brings my eye to that focal point. Then, when you think about color, red is the complement to green. So when they say well, you have to have green, when you have green in the picture, you should have a touch of red. So I thought, well, you know, and then I thought well, this, this empty thing. So then I even took some Spanish moss and I put the Spanish moss like this. I'll show you. I went like this in the middle. Okay, it humps up. And then kind of sat it in the Spanish moss. And I looked at that and I thought, well, it looks kind of crafty now. So I didn't like that. Now you guys might like this. Uh, like I say, art is in the eye of the beholder. So some people would love it, love it, but I don't. So I have to love it. So I took all that away. Thought, okay, how can I see if red's gonna be good? Well, I got some red little beads here. I put them in here like this. Not those ones, those are crummy. What's that? Just red, so just to see if red is good. So that, well, it is sort of, I just don't like the white, okay? So that was another idea. Red's not bad. So then I thought, okay, I'm going to try to put something on it. So I grabbed things from my closet. Now, I don't know if you're like me, but every artist usually is sort of like a, you know, like a rock hound? We're a little bit like that. In other words, we grab things like in nature, uh, whether it's a flower and, and press it, whether it's pods off a tree, whether it's just unusual things. I got a junk pile of them. <laughs> my closet and that's part of being an artist because you see something in nature and you think oh god I could use that sometime in my life well I've had these things and this is a piece of slate I had this <laughs> in my closet and I thought well maybe that'll be good so I stuck that on the white no I don't like it it's very flat dull even if it painted it wouldn't be good and so then I thought, okay, I need some light, lighten up the screen. So I will do that after because I found something else that I absolutely fell in love with. And where is it now? Right here. <laughs> this is the bottom of um, a flower pot. It's clay. And it broke. I think it was in the winter or something. And... I kept it and it's all got all colors on it. I just kept it in the closet. But you know, I thought, gee, I wonder if this would work. So I put it here. I love it. Like that's what I like. It looks, it's got texture and depth and yet it doesn't look hokey or it doesn't look like it's a craft project. Again, I need to cover this white and I need two shades of green. So what I'm gonna do is put some little bit of lime green and I might just First of all, just flick it on. First of all, I'm just going to take a bit of green here 
and cover up this white. I'm just going to put stick my brush right in the tube here, right in the, get rid of this white. And it's kind of got different colors of green in it. This is a different color than I've used already, and that's okay. Just going to get rid of it. I thought it looked good, but it doesn't. So I'm just going to take some green. Put it down like that. Okay. Now, I think I'm just going to dab that a bit. I don't really care for it that much. Oh, it looks okay. It's underneath there. Okay, so then we can do that. And um, I'm just going to get some paper towel here. Oh, here. Got this. I'm just going to smudge this up a little bit. Just soften the edges. Okay. Now, I was going to take my gold and spray it and go sprays like this. But doing a can, this is acrylic spray, so you can use this um, as, a, as a bit of a spray, but I don't want to do it in the house. So I thought, okay, I'll just use my gold. And a little thing you could do is take a, a short little um, a ruler and just go with your ruler, with your edge ruler. Now this isn't a ruler here, it's a piece of wood, but just to show you. I could just put this in a dish like that and get the edge of my stick on gold and just go But I don't think this needs it. It's, I've disbanded that idea. So then I thought, okay, I need some light lime green. And I'm not even sure about this yet. Because now I've done this other shade of green. This might not look good. So I'm going to put, now you make lime green by putting a bit of yellow in your green. And I'll get it kind of limey. And why I want it limey is because the lime sticks out. So the lime is going to give me right up front and it's going to push back this this is a dark green this gets pushed back in the background so this gives you that 3d effect right so i think i'm just going to take this little stick here and just put some of this on i don't know if it'll even work with the stick we'll see oh i forgot to tell you when I was going to do the um, white flowers, like this, remember I told you I was going to do the white flowers? Well, guess what I was going to use? I thought, well, I need stamens, right, for the flower? <laughs> so I got my hairbrush. And I thought, well, my hairbrush wouldn't really miss a few of these at the end. See, these look like stamens on the hairbrush. <laughs> so I was going to cut a few of them off and, and glue them in there. So we disbanded all that idea. My uh, hairbrush is now intact. So it gets, it's got a reprieve which is nice for it. I guess it's very happy now. My hairbrush is very happy. Very, very happy. Okay, now we got that. Now, I'm going to put this on. So, I want to keep my focal point. Remember the, th the rule of thirds? Um, that's about a third right there. I can put it there. That's a bit low. That's good. I want to capture some yellow. The question is, do I fill in the color underneath this hole or let it stay? That I don't know yet. So it can go there. This I think looks better. I don't like this mess here, but we can fix that up later. So I think I'll just put it there. And I think I'm going to let that show. So that's it. It's done. Yeah, I'm happy with it. So I glue it down. I'm going to use a, a glue gun, but I can't use it right now because the paint's wet. But I think I'm going to try to try a glue gun. I have used a glue gun before. I'm not happy with it. I'm not sold on it because 
I always figure it can come off. But when I have used it with wood and, and uh, different materials, it stayed. So I'm going to use a glue gun. So I won't do that right now because it's dry, but that's what I'm going to do. So I want to thank you very much. That's called experimenting, and it's having fun. It's just like fun. Have fun. That's the painting's about. Bye-bye.